I wouldn't know. Say everything. Nothing's ever perfect, but uh, the approach we took after seeing these, uh, you know, me pitching against these guys a week ago, it's tough to face a team twice in a row and you know be successful twice in a row. Just because, you know, they saw pretty much everything I had then. We changed it up a little bit. A little went away from the curveball more today, and uh, it really uh, benefited us. Was there anything that you were not happy with? Um. You know, it's, it's hard to be unhappy when we can win one nothing against a really good team and a, a really good pitcher over there. So just say no because, you know, we won at the end of the day. I'm not, I'm not a selfish guy. I think I made mistakes. Might have got away with some. We had some really good defensive plays. Marwin's in the first inning. That saved one run, if not two. It was a huge turning point in the game. And then AD with the, you know, one big swing, we can, we can win a game. So um, I'm just, you know, glad I could do my part and uh, move on. In the sixth, when you had those two runners on, you got the strikeout to end the inning, and you showed some emotion, looked like you yelled something like, let's go. How big was that for you to get out of that the way that you did in that spot? Um, really big, considering how the game ended up. Uh, there's not too much time where I you know, show emotion when I pitch, but uh, certain instances I feel like you know it kind of takes you over, I and mean, that was definitely one of them. Um, I think you know, hopefully... There's more times for it later this year, but uh, you know I thought Garb did a really good job back there of calling a good game, um, you know reading hitters swings and everything. So, you know I did I did my job, but it also goes on him for doing his job and just kind of working with what we had going.